and welcome back to week 45 of the Iron Man Road to Completion Escape series. Starting off this week by doing lots of dungeoneering, just hit the daily reset and uh, came to check my motherload maw. Of course it gives me an unfocused reward enhancer the day after I finish Livid Farm. That would have saved me, I don't know, like a half hour to an hour of it, uh, and I don't think there are any useful enhancers for me. So, uh, yeah, focusing the enhancer, none of this is useful. I, I, I mean, I guess I'll just hold on to it in case I need help in uh, Rush of Blood, because that's going to be kind of questionable, and uh, maybe use it for Dominion Tower, but probably not, because that one's not too big of a deal. Yeah, so I'm, I'm just a little bit salty right here. Oh, man. And to end off the beginning of the first day of this week, got 14.5 mil left to go for 120. That's not that bad. Uh, probably going to pick up level 119 tomorrow. And uh, as I said last week, that's the last level where you continue to get more from the daily challenges. So I'll take a step away, uh, go to Barrow's Dominion Tower, the other stuff that I have left for comp, and just let those daily challenges roll in, uh, let the experience for them from them roll in. Uh, I've also got exactly 250 Vizwax, which is, well, it's five days worth of extending. I'll probably have to collect a little bit more Vizwax since I'm going to be taking uh, real advantage of those daily challenges. But, uh, yeah, I thought that was nice. Uh, I ended up with exactly five days worth. So, uh, just due to how boring Dungeoneering is and seeing a clip of, hey, I made some progress, I decided to skip yesterday on to day 311. Uh, it's finally going to happen. 119. There's the last floor unlocked, at least. Uh, and now I'm getting max XP from daily challenges. 9.8 mil to go. Um, but that means I can take a break from this if I want to. Go take out other comp requirements, and I'll be getting max value from my daily challenges. And on to the next day, just did an hour of Barrows to start the day off, and, uh, yeah, nothing. Completely dry hour. That feels horrible. And I'm now up to 232 Dominion Tower kills, and 11 of the 20 pages. Uh, been doing probably two hours of this. Gonna go back to Barrows once my Penance Aura resets, and, uh, we'll go do my Dungeoneering Daily Challenge. Uh, once it rolls over in about seven minutes. And there we go. Just unlocked the title of The Annihilator. Uh, it kind of missed it there at the end. Uh, but I'll go down through here and yeah, it's gone. That's taking care of another thing off the list. I think I might go work on this uh, Bones to Peaches. And with this turn in, I will be done with... The high alt points here, uh, the pizzazz points, just one over the 300 that I need, uh, but at least that's taken care of almost entirely out of nature runes though, um, so I'm probably going to have to rune craft some of the other stuff. Uh, I guess I'll go work on telekinetic. Yeah, I think that one's like the worst of all, but may as well get it out of the way. And bam, done with the telekinetic pizzazz points. Ugh. I'm just, I'm just glad that it goes relatively quickly. It only took like, I don't know, maybe an hour and a half total. It's just so boring. Oh my gosh. And here's probably the easiest of the bunch. Bam. There's the enchantment points taken care of. Well, I can definitely say that I am glad that grind is over. Bam. Bye, that spell. Bones to peaches. I actually over-earned on a lot of those points, uh, just because I have the medium desert tasks done. Uh, if I would have been able to do the hard tasks, I could have reduced it further, but it's no big deal. I'm just glad I've got that taken care of. And so, uh, to finish off tonight, I'm starting up the Dark Crystal uh, thingamabob. So, uh, yeah, started with the Araxor kill. Serenic scales, that's alright. Uh, I did fail once, but, um... Yeah, it's been a while since I've done a rack so I don't really have much practice. Did make myself some Death Lotus starts, just to go along with it. You know, I'm max gear, more or less. Uh, yeah, so gonna try and do the rest real quick. Alright, and with this kill, on day 313, kinda went to sleep uh, mid-challenge. 
completed the famous. Uh, so that's now taken care of. Nice. Yeah, so I got the title done. And um, that's another of my comp requirements taken care of. Uh, they just released a new little thing where you can right click on people and view their achievements and get this little score up here. So I have 10,630, whatever that means. Uh, but if I look at comp, okay, 62 out of 69. And uh, wow, I can actually view everything that I have done. Much, this is this is much nicer than before, I think. Uh, but I'll hide completed, and uh, yeah, I'm really getting there. I need to uh, do the Reaper before too long, uh, try and find some people to help me out there. I'll probably go run and do this, uh, my Rec Memorial right now, and uh, gotta do Rush of Blood, which might also be kind of challenging. Alright, and I think I've now uh, collected everything I need for the rest of these statues. Let's just add that there, then here, and around the circle I go. It was uh, pretty easy to get all of this stuff. I'd say the most annoying was probably the snakeskin body, but uh, that's just because it's it's all RNG and temple trekking and I got kind of unlucky. But uh, yeah, there is the last one. And then I'm guessing I have to talk to Veliev to complete it. Spacebar through this chat. Bam. My wreck in memoriam. So that's taken care of as well. Just doing a few uh, clue scrolls, trying to get really close to that luck of the dwarves so that, uh, well, if this barrows grind continues for too long, at least I'll have that to increase my drop rate a little bit. Uh, let's see. Getting close to this one, but got a T4 Amulet of Glory. I'm going to disassemble that for the comp and the U-comp bow. And I have a feeling that this might be the end of this elite clue. Or, well, maybe not. Here's the elite clue casket. Unlock. Uh, nothing real good there. Um, so yeah, I'm only six fortunate components away from the uh, luck of the dwarves. So, um, yeah, we'll see what happens. Maybe I'll get a lot of clue scrolls from Barrows. Or maybe not, and uh, I'll just be left uh, with a lot of fortunate components. So yeah, I'm up to like uh, 20 or 30 kills dry. Uh, I started at 112, and I was already like, I think 15 or 20 dry. Uh, now, 9 kills in, and all I've gotten are 2 loop half of key. And that's just insulting. And just after I make that clip, I get a Trisk Frag. Wow! Finally another item, but I think it's a repeat. I'm actually not sure. It might not be. Uh, let me go. Let me just go to Max Guilds. Um, if it's not, then I have like three pieces of the Varric set. But, ah, God. <sighs> Alright, and I think this one is a repeat as well. Darox Playbody. Let's check though. Because I think I might have the, uh, the Darox Brassard, or the, the Plate Legs, whatever they're called. Come on, come on, ah, oh, god. You know, back-to-back -back drops and knowing that this one is finally a new piece makes me quite happy. There's the Guthans Plate Body, so I now have, uh, two pieces in four sets. Um, so, <laughs> am I halfway done? Sort of, yeah, halfway done with the Barrow's Grind. And I just hit the uh, 300 boss marker here in Dominion Tower. Um, turns out I have to go all the way to 500 to complete the uh, Desert Elite tasks. But at least I'm making progress and more than halfway there. And with the end of that floor, I broke 600 million XP. That's a pretty good marker right there, just doing my daily challenge for dungeoneering, of course, and uh, yeah, pretty nice milestone. And with that, I've now unlocked the last of the Dominion journal pages. Uh, let's just pop out that journal and throw it in. Bam! And uh, yeah, you can see since there was no text box, I actually do have all 20. Apparently there are new rewards for that. Um, here, oh yeah, I now have the uh, 
the massive bomb and the colossal bomb available as drops and uh yeah getting ever closer to this other stuff yeah still a little bit to go oh and uh, for those wondering i'm now up to 346 boss kills to get the 20 pages uh just to give you guys a bit of a benchmark if you're wondering uh i most of the time i go and do climber and i'll get somewhere from 100 to 200 thousand points and i'll just quit if it's going to be a hard boss next so um yeah i don't want to list them all off but basically if it's going to be annoying you just skip it you move on to the next uh next round of climber oh man my luck is starting to shine again there's three out of four for varax just need the flail all right so i'm quite sick of dominion tower at this point um i have now killed 422 bosses and uh well i have all the journal pages and if you go to the special i've done all of them except the double nomad which is just because yeah uh, nomad and uh this one because i haven't been saving up my uh bombs i've actually been putting all the xp into attack just for fun uh, so yeah, I'm at 14.5 mil attack XP now. Um, but before too long, you know, I'll just save up some bombs, anything I get from climber mode, and uh, take on this one. Should be pretty easy. And then the double nomad will just be, you know, sit down, take care of it, uh, actually memorize his abilities again. And yeah, so uh, on to the next day. Starting off the next day with even more barrows. Just got a Darox Helm. I've uh, been doing this for about an hour so far, so uh, that being the only drop is kind of unlucky. Uh, but I also did an Elite Clue that I got earlier. I uh, decided to start wearing the Ring of Wealth because, um, well, kind of made a mistake by not wearing it so far. Uh, it does increase your drop chances of boss items by 1%, uh, so that might have netted me like an extra item through all of the kills that I've done so far. So uh, that's kind of... Uh, kind of bad but um it's it's not that big of a deal uh now got the darox helm which means i think i have three out of four uh for two sets that being the darox and the um uh varax so uh yeah i'll keep you guys posted i thought i had the uh darox uh leg piece but it turns out i had a helmet so that's my uh well i guess fourth repeat item but my third since yesterday and that's disappointing. And getting back into that Dominion Tower grind, just did a nice little, uh, z well, climb up to like floor 23 or something like that. Uh, claim rewards. Uh, I think I need the bombs for something. Uh, but I just unlocked Dreadnips, uh, so that's, um, well, one of the, uh, the things I need to complete the hard desert tasks. Uh, so I think I'll go actually complete the hard desert tasks now. Uh, let's pick up that, throw that into attack, oh, and bank everything else. And yeah, pick up some dread nips. And here is the end of No More Nomad, No More. That's the uh, last of my Dominion Tower special floors. Um, I made a mistake yesterday in saying that I needed to save up bombs because I didn't. Uh, I didn't need to have any on me, actually. Um, you're not allowed to take them in to the special fight that has you use bombs. Uh, but yeah, there we go. There's uh, all of that completed, and I'm now sitting at eh, 400 and, I don't know, almost 460 boss kills. Um, something like that. But let's see what uh, what all I have unlocked. Uh, here we go. So I now have Dominion Mines. That's what that did. And once I get to 500 kills, I just, bam, all four of these will be done. Um, this one is lo says locked, but I mean it's not. It's it's technically done. It's just unlocking uh, dreadnips there. And uh, yeah, then I'll be done with Dominion Tower. So uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna go knock out those boss kills real quick. Oh, I just realized I I wasn't recording. Oh no. Well, um, yeah. So I just hit 500 boss kills. Um, yeah cool now I have the dominion marker four i can finish up the desert diaries there we go just did my first beastmaster kill while listening to the guide for it. <laughs> oh man first
first kill, learner kill. <laughs> oh, that's pretty great. I, I, I don't even know if I can exit this way. Can I, can I do that? You know, whatever. Um, exit? Is it, is it enter back here or something? I have no idea. I'm just, <laughs> I can't believe I got that on the first kill. Man. And here's going to be the end of the Elite Desert Task Set. Nice. Let's uh, just throw this into Herb Lord. No, I'm kidding. Uh, into Dungeoneering. Just to slowly cut down on that time that I have to to, uh, to put into that skill. Uh, so there's another 50k, which is nice. It's about a floor, and that's about another floor. Um, so not bad. There's the Elite Desert Tasks done. And uh, now i got to go, uh, I guess, back to Barrows. Work on the Mauritania ones. Alright, and I'm uh, back to doing Barrows, uh, but I do want to mention that I got a next kill. Uh, and that's special thanks to Ghost Sloth here, he's a cool guy. Um, worked together, hopped in Discord, and uh, it was a pretty easy kill, like three minutes. Um, and luckily he got the drops too, so you know, well deserved. Uh, but yeah, so there's another boss taken care of uh, on my list. That just leaves me with, uh, where's it at? Corp and Calphite King, Telos, Rots, Rago, AOD, and Yaka. Um, so I'm going to make a post on Reddit tomorrow, hoping, or tonight, uh, hoping to get some more people together to knock out Rago. It's apparently the worst rotation, but, uh, yeah. Yeah, we're still going to try to find some people, um, put together a, like, five or six man team, knock out at least one kill for me. Uh, Yaka should, shouldn't be that bad. Uh, AOD should be kind of hard to get a group for as a learner. Um, but it, it's also a lot more popular. And something like Rots is also fairly popular. So uh, I'm going to try to get this one done tonight. Uh, throw my hand at Corp with my Sun Spear. Because apparently that does count as a spear. And i uh, going to try my hand at Telos eventually. Um, yeah, and then I'll be really close to finished. Uh, but it's it's mostly up to this Barrows RNG. Uh, I did just get two more drops, and I didn't clip them because they were repeats. My number three, uh, Carol's crossbow, and my number three, Varex plate legs, or plate skirt, whichever one. Um, so yeah, feels horrible, man. Uh, just gonna keep working on this comp requirement. Holy... Another repeat. Yeah, that's like four or five items in a row. All of them have been repeats. Feels bad, man. Alright, so my luck is nothing like my friends right now. This guy just got a double drop at Arax with a fang and a middle leg. And back to back, got an eye. Ugh. Okay, but I did get a Torag's Helm, which is new. That's, I believe, my second piece of the Torag set. Uh, so at least that's something. But, yeah, my, my amount of WTFs in the private messages there, that, that tells you something. And I managed to find a group for uh, ROTS, doing a full hour just, just because they asked me to, basically. Uh, they, they were actually looking for somebody to join the team, not just uh, willing to carry me. Um, but yeah, uh, been doing some kills, got my second or third kill. Um, yeah, so that's another boss off the, uh, eh, off the list, I guess. And the wonderful I'm a Papaya helped me out, uh, after we were done with Rots for the hour, and, uh, carried me through a KK kill with, uh, some other fella named Manhattan. Uh, so, that just leaves me with, uh, Yaka, AOD, Rago, and, um... I always forget one. Oh, and I gotta do Corp and Telos solo tomorrow. Uh, that's what I'm gonna try to do, uh, as well as some more Barrows, of course. Um, but yeah, uh, this week is gonna be kinda hard for Rago, but I think some people are willing to help me, and I should be able to find some folks uh, out of these lovely uh, clan chats and uh, off of Reddit. So yeah, I'll keep you guys updated. Oh, and of course, there's always the lovely Soccer Fletch, or Underfletch, who's uh, 
helping me out finding some people that will uh, carry me through things like Rago. Um, I asked him a few days ago if, uh, if he knew of anybody or like if he had a Rago team uh, set up already. And uh, yeah, he, he's, he's been really like thinking about it every time he logs on. He'll, he'll like PM me and say, hey, you know, I talked to some people. They'll, they'll help you out. And uh, yeah, so props to him. He's a really cool guy. And to start off day 315, I just did my uh, one kill of Corporeal Beast that I needed. Got some diamonds. So, uh, yeah, I was kind of hoping for cannonballs or even like a sigil drop, but, you know, whatever. Well, it wasn't a great kill, but I did manage it. It cost me quite a few brews and stuff, but, uh, let's see the reward! Um, oh yeah, they have this, uh, this little fancy thing. Okay, sure. 95 black dragon died. I will claim it and I will get the hell out of here <laughs> Yeah, it cost me whole yak of rock tails and like four brew flasks or something maybe six brew flasks Yeah, six sounds right But hey at least at least it's another boss down and uh, Yeah, I'm gonna go back to Barrows And I've now completed everything except for I brought your stuff back in the Mauritania task set Getting ever so close to comp, and uh, still talking to people, trying to sort out some teams to get those boss kills in tonight. Beautiful. It's not that hard. More, I will have runes. Rest <laughs> on one, Blake. <laughs> are we going AOD now? Blake, rest uh, on one. Yeah, I mean we can go AOD if you if you guys are up. Oh my oh, god! I got three. I got three drops. It's FFA. Wait, Dude, I, I only got P4. Got nothing. I got wait. I got the middle and then. <laughs> hungry, hungry. FFA. Really FFA? I got the beam. Oh, that I got two books. What does it even do, the beam? You got what? Two books. I, I just got a beam on it. <laughs> oh. If someone dies, I think I the beam is random, but usually it means that you got the top DPS on the team. Anyway, I mm -hmm. think uh, we lost someone, so I don't mind doing a second kill if they need it. Yeah. My prayer drops, dropped right in the end, I almost died from that. Holy shit! Well, thanks, you did thanks so much, Rado. guys. Like, even though I died. You did AOD and Rago? Yeah. Hmm? Yeah, I got yeah. AOD and Rago down earlier, so now I have Reaper. Congrats, man. Hey, raw food. That was some bullshit, though. Like, I was blue, and I was tanking a jellyfish or two, and I was MD, and I was trying to plank, and plank it and DPS at the same time, and then. Alright, so as you can see from the past few clips, I finished the Reaper title. Uh, it should be really easy, at least according to Blackland, who is one of the people helping me there. Uh, it should be really easy for me to get Rush of Blood to 20 waves. I'm just a scrub and kept failing it, um, so that's something I'll be knocking out before too long. Uh, and uh, yeah, it's just Barrows, finishing Dungeoneering, Rush of Blood, and uh, running around doing some music tracks actually. Uh, it seems like I have to do all of the odd old man's lists, at least all of the optional lists to get one music track. And uh, I gotta do some Barbarian Assault all the way to the last fight, uh, but I'm planning on doing that sometime this weekend. Uh, keep in mind that today is Thursday, being the last day of this week. Uh, yeah, so it looks like I should be able to knock out everything uh, within my time frame. Uh, also, Underfletch has notified me that um, the Slayer... Uh, requirement was moved forward to September 11th instead of September 5th. It, they're not clear as to whether or not um, the Minifos requirements are also pushed forward, but uh, at least having the Slayer off the table means that I don't have to worry about getting everything done by Monday or Tuesday if I do fail. Um, but I don't think I'll fail. I'm pretty sure I got this. And let me just close my Discord. Yeah, you were hearing. That was that was not yours, that was mine. Uh, I forgot to mute it in the background. Um, yeah, so let's just hope for good Barrows RNG. And assuming everything goes well, I'll be comping pretty soon. I will be putting up a video on my channel the day I plan to comp. And uh, notifying everybody of what world, about what time, what game time that is. And uh, give everybody like a five or six hour notice if you do want to come uh, to a comp party. Um, you know, running down the museum basically. But uh, 
yeah, that that's all I know. I am like, I don't know, 40-something dry at Barrows right now, so I'm kind of salty. Uh, sitting on about 252 kill count, or 255 maybe. Uh, but that's, that's the state of things. Everything went well. Um, just feeling really good right now. So glad that I got all that stuff knocked out. And though a few people were salty that I, I was just showing up doing a learner kill Trisk fragment. Uh, doing a learner kill just for comp and not planning on going into uh, high tier PVM. Um, I think they were still glad to help me anyway. So, Also, huge thanks to Dung Beetle here and uh, one other person. I feel like I'm missing somebody. There were so many people that came along though. Um, of course, Blackland or Ass Slayer 69. Uh, then Ghostbuster here, and I um, think he came along, Istmerigal, yeah, just, just lots of folks helping out, um, really thankful for that. Okay, so after a period of like 52 kills dry or something like that, I got Torag's legs, and I think that's actually a new piece. I'm pretty sure I have the helm and the plate body, so that's nice to see. Uh, but if it turns out that that's another duplicate, you know... At least it broke my dry streak, cause ah, uh, like, like a quarter of my kill count had been gone through, or a fifth. I'm at like 260 kills. I went through like 52 dry. Yeah, so a fifth of my total kills in a row, no drops. That was just absurd. And thus concludes the end of week 45 of this series. So glad that it'll be done before too long. Uh, only like two or three days left to go of me really grinding it out. Well, Dungeoneering may take a little bit longer than, than three days, but it should be done really shortly. Um, and again, I will be putting up a Dungeoneering guide before too long, and a video will be going up whenever I am uh, planning to comp, like the day of. Um, yeah, so what is left? I've been going over this a lot, but it's Russia Blood. Bam, 120 Dungeoneering. This 120 Slayer is, is just bugged. It's in the UI. It does not currently count, though. Um, music tracks, a few left to do down here. And, uh, yeah, Russia Blood counts twice. So, um, right, and Barrows, that's it. So excited. Uh, still going to be going hard tomorrow, but, um, yeah, I'll see you guys next week.